Maid is more than just a medical or legal issue, it's deeply rooted in an ethical debate. Are you a healthcare researcher that's always been confused about what research philosophy is? Are you ready to enhance your understanding of research philosophy? Well, I've got great news. On our learning platform at learn.methodologies.org, we just released a brand new course called Let's Talk About Research Philosophy. And in this course, we talk about four components, worldview, paradigm, methodology, and methods. We also talk about a fifth potential component, but I'll keep that as a surprise until you visit us and enroll in the course. Join us today and take your research expertise and practice to the next level. Learn about our courses by clicking the link below or visiting us at learn.methodologies.org. I'll see you there. The decision to end one's life with medical assistance brings forth a myriad of questions that have been debated for centuries. At the heart of this medical debate is the principle of autonomy. And this principle really says that every individual has the right to make their own decision that affects their body and their life. Proponents argue that MAID essentially extends the principle of autonomy, allowing individuals to choose a dignified end to their suffering. They believe that under specific circumstances, MAID is a compassionate response to unbearable pain or suffering. On the other hand, many oppose MAID based on the sanctity of life principle. For them, life is inherently valuable and should be preserved at all costs. Religious beliefs often play a significant role in this perspective. For example, teachings from Christianity, Judaism, and Islam emphasize the sacredness of life and view its termination morally unacceptable. Beyond religious beliefs, there's also the slippery slope argument. Some fear that legalizing made will eventually lead to legalizing non-voluntary and even in some cases involuntary euthanasia, especially for vulnerable populations. They worry about the potential for misuse and the devaluation of life in society. Furthermore, there's the role of the medical professional. Is it ethically right for them to participate in the ending of life even if it's requested? This question challenges the very core of medical ethics, especially conflicting a foremost medical ethical principle of do no harm. As we navigate this series on MAID, it's important to keep an open mind. Ethical considerations surrounding MAID are complex, multifaceted, and deeply personal. They challenge us to reflect on our values and beliefs and the very essence of what it means to live and die with dignity. And that's all I have for this week's video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please let us know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Until next week's video, take care.